Happening now in Pasco County, school district leaders are talking about the rising number of COVID-19 cases and what they can do about it. The Pasco School District has reported more than 200 new cases just this month. ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler just stepped out of the meeting and joins us live with the very latest. Eric. Yeah, officials with the Pasco County School District are working together with the health department. They say that the over all number of positive cases they've had in the school district is still a very small number, just half a percentage point of the overall students, which number uh, close to 80,000. The current spike is lower than that it, it is uh, within the community itself. Officials want to make sure that the current coronavirus wave affects as few students as possible. They say in the last two weeks they have had about 50 positive cases. Overall in Pasco County since school started, they've had 391 positive cases, but that does end up affecting more than 7,000 who have had to quarantine, 144 staff members have tested positive as well. In our community, we are having a rise in cases. This is uh, what a lot of people in the news are calling a third wave. So um, we're trying to keep this wave from affecting the schools and we're trying to keep our kids in school and learning. Yeah, the school district says that every high school and every middle school has had at least one case. Uh, there is an outlier, though. Wiregrass High School in Wesley Chapel has had more than 30 cases. There also, on a positive note, are five elementary schools within the county that have had zero cases so far. Live in Pasco County, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.